Today we are talking about Marimo, a potential game changer in the Python notebook space and maybe a truly well suited alternative to Jupyter? Let's find out. What is Marimo.io? Marimo.io is designed to provide a user friendly environment for data scientists and developers to write, run, and share Python code. It offers an interactive workspace where users can create documents that combine live code equations, visualizations, and narrative text. Most important, it seems to eliminate some of the drawbacks users have experienced with Jupyter. It's important to note that Marimo.io is a still relatively new project. With its fresh approach to Python notebooks, it's likely that there is a lot more to come as the platform continues to develop and evolve. As stated by Marimo itself, they are currently a team of two developers who believe that the Python community deserves a better programming environment to do research. As an alternative to Jupyter, Marimo.io brings a fresh approach to Python notebooks. While Jupyter has been the go-to for many data scientists, some might find its interface and functionality limited. Marimo.io, on the other hand, aims to address these limitations by offering a more modern, intuitive and feature-rich user interface. While it maintains compatibility with Jupyter Notebooks, Marimo.io goes above and beyond by providing enhanced features such as real-time collaboration, version control and a seamless integration with data sources. Marimo Notebooks are designed to be reproducible. Reproducibility is a critical aspect of data science as it allows others to verify your results and build up on your work. In many traditional notebook environments, including Jupyter, hidden state can make reproducing results challenging. Marimo addresses this issue by eliminating hidden state. When a cell is deleted, Marimo automatically removes its variables from the program memory. This ensures that the outputs of your cells match the code and that there are no unexpected side effects from hidden state. This feature significantly enhances the reliability and reproducibility of your notebooks. With Marimo's hide code functionality, users can create interactive documents that feel like reactive web apps. By hiding the code, users can focus on the output, making the document cleaner and more presentable. This combination of interactivity and clean presentation is reminiscent of a web application and it's a functionality that is not offered by Jupyter. Marimo is built with a strong focus on compatibility and integration. One significant advantage is that Marimo notebooks are stored as Python files, which makes them Git friendly. This means that they can easily be versioned and shared using Git. This not only enhances collaboration, but also ensures that the work can be traced and audited. This is a stark contrast to Jupyter notebooks, which are stored in JSON format, making them harder to version control with Git due to issues like merge conflicts. Marimo provides built-in version control, allowing users to track changes and revert to previous versions of their notebooks. This feature ensures a high level of data integrity and reduces the risk of data loss. On the other hand, Jupyter notebooks do not offer this functionality natively. All in all, Marimo is a very interesting project, but as already stated, also relatively fresh. Some of its features, like real-time collaboration, is still in beta. If you're interested, subscribe for the waitlist. Marimo offers a user-friendly environment for data scientists and developers to write, run, and share Python code. Key differences and features include reproducibility, Git friendliness and built-in version control, reactivity, and the ability to execute notebooks as standalone Python scripts or deploy them as web applications. I hope this video has given you an understanding of what Marimo is about, how it works, and when it might be a right tool for you. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for more informative content on Python or other technologies. Until then, keep coding and cheers.